Hello everyone, Jackson here, back with another video. The rig on Amazon Prime aired on the 6th of January, and after being bombarded with ads for the show, and seeing the impressive cast list, I thought I'd check it out. In the end, I binge watched all 6 episodes over the last 48 hours, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was good though. I'll try and keep spoilers to a minimum, but as always, this is your spoiler warning to anyone that plans on watching the rig or hasn't finished it yet. The Rig is a show about the crew of the Kinloch Bravo oil rig, positioned off the Scottish coast in the North Sea. As the crew are preparing to end their rotation and catch a helicopter flight back to the mainland, the Rig is rocked by what feels like a seismic tremor, followed by a thick fog rolling in, engulfing both the neighbouring oil rig in the field and the Kinloch oil rig itself. Communication to the mainland is cut, and they are all stranded on the Rig, trying to work out what is happening to them and what this mysterious fog is. Emotions begin to boil and friendships are tested as they begin to realise the helicopters won't be able to rescue them for the foreseeable. Saying the reception towards the show has been mixed is an understatement, with a lot of critics and the general audience both panning the show. It does have its fair share of positive reviews as well, but the general consensus seems to be that this show is average at best. Without going too heavy into spoiler territory, the show of the rig is one of mystery and intrigue, as the crew and the audience try to figure out what is going on and what the fog is. It definitely had potential in the opening episodes, but it quickly shifts gear from claustrophobic horror themes to a social commentary about how we are decimating the planet's resources. And before you know it, the story moves into the realms of supernatural, with a dormant force in the Earth's ocean floor awakening from the oil rig drilling and it attempts to cause an extinction level event to humanity and guess what, not for the first time either. And in all honesty, I half expected the Doctor to arrive in his TARDIS and save the day. In fact, that may have helped the plot in the end. Having said all that though, I did find the ending mildly satisfying, and I have left enough plot threads open for a follow-up season if it gets the green light. Which at this point, who knows based on the reviews that it's getting, but hey, the show may well be popular enough for that second season. The rig does boast an impressive ensemble of mostly British actors, including Game of Thrones alumni Ian Glenn, Owen Till and Mark Addy. Game of Thrones fans will know them as Jorah Mormont, Alistair Fawn, and King Robert Baratheon, respectively. They are also joined by Line of Duty alumni Martin Comston, Mark Bonner, and Roshan de Sandal, who starred as D.I. Steve Arnott, DCC Mike Dryden, and Lisa McQueen. Sadly, for a show with such a great cast of talent, the performances were mostly below par, and I think that's due to the writing, direction, and cliche character backstories bogging them down. Owen Teal, who plays Lars Hutton in The Rig, felt ridiculously over the top throughout, and appeared to be playing an exaggerated version of his Game of Thrones character, Alistair Fawn. Now, this may shock you, but I've never worked on an oil rig, but I find it hard to believe that an employee would be allowed to act the way he did throughout the show, and I found it jarring. Thankfully, some of the performances were good, with Ian Glenn and Martin Compton playing Magnus and Fulmer respectively being the standouts. I'm not sure what the budget was for this show, so I don't want to be overcritical, but the CGI at times was awful, including their big money shot with the fog rolling in. Seeing as the show is being bankrolled by the juggernaut that is Amazon, I think it's fair to say I expected better, but hey, maybe they spent all their money on the Rings of Power, right? The rig itself did look fantastic at times, and felt mostly believable, but there were occasions where the immersion was spoiled by the way it was shot, and reminded you that this is clearly a set. I will say though that I thought the ecological set design on the interior of the rig was beautiful, and the animation for the spores did look high budget. My biggest gripe with the overall production of the show is that it feels like the director is trying too hard to fit as many different themes and influences into one show. Like I mentioned earlier, expect to find elements of horror, social commentary, supernatural and sci-fi just to name a few. Whilst this mostly worked for a show like Lost, particularly in its first season, they did have 24 episodes and a whole island heaped in mystery as its sandbox. Not a six episode arc exclusively on an oil rig. And I feel that the director was maybe just too ambitious on this project and it would have benefited with a tighter story. Despite all of its obvious flaws, messy direction and some very questionable character decisions, I surprisingly enjoyed the show as a whole and thought they did a reasonably good job with the ending. Unfortunately though, I can't help but feel that the show wasted its potential, particularly with such a talented cast of actors on board. It will be interesting to see whether Amazon greenlights the second season, 
but I think this show may well be lost in the fog. Final score for the rig, a disappointing 6 out of 10. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the show. Would you be excited for a season 2? Or do you think they should just cut their losses now and leave the rig on the sea floor? And as always, thank you for watching and leave a like if you haven't already on the way out. I hope to see you next time.